Today, we stand in front of you with our hearts full of hope and expectations, wishing that everyone who watches and listens to this appeal will begin actions to stop inhumane, shameful, uh, shameful actions committed to the 1.8 million people of the Gaza Strip. As you all know, the Gaza Strip has been under siege for almost eight years, faced two dreadful wars, experienced hundreds of violations by the Israeli occupation, and suffered the lack of fuel and water. The people of Gaza are forced to contend with 18 hours of electricity cuts per day. And crucially, what is making the matter worse is the closure of the Rafah border. Rafah border opened for only nine days since the beginning of this year. One month has passed and almost 6,000 Gazans, patients and students who were registered to travel in the month of February through the Palestinian-Egyptian Rafah border are stuck inside the world's largest open-air prison, the Gaza Strip. One woman, her name is Naifa Shaheen, she's 64 years old. She has already passed away as she waited for the border to open. Many others alongside her are still waiting. We witness the great regret, the reality that Egypt, our neighboring Arab country, is responsible for this situation. We reject all Egyptian accusations of Palestinians, responsibility of any political problems in Egypt, because we, the people of Palestine, have one and only enemy, and it is the Israeli occupation. The Egyptian people will always be our brothers, and we have nothing but respect towards them and their democratic choices. We are calling upon you all to listen to us, to help us, to stand for us. Today, we are initiating a worldwide campaign on the social media. Please start hashtagging and tweeting Open Rafah Border. We will also be sharing the contacts and details of Egyptian embassies and in different countries around the world. To make it easier for you all, citizens of the world, to start emailing and calling on Egyptian ambassadors to address this situation. We need you to condemn the, the Egyptian closure of Rafah border and call for a change. Yes, we do believe in you all. We do have hope in your willpower. And we do believe in your actions can make a difference. So do not leave us alone. We are in desperate need for your help.